Hi everybody and welcome to Lundy's Wildcam Stroke Bushcraft. Thanks for clicking on the video. As you can see, I've now got a new Bergen. This is the, the Warrior X300 Backpack Stroke Bergen Stroke Day Sack. Okay, it's got a Molly system on it, which is absolutely fantastic. It's a 60 litre Bergen and the specs on it is just absolutely amazing. It's the first time I've wore it, walking for a couple of miles. I've loaded it up with about 32 kilos of weight uh, just to see what it's like on the shoulders and everything and I had no problems whatsoever. Um, obviously I didn't really do any of the video of walking up to my woods but believe me it is a very comfy military style Bergen. Um, it is a heavy Bergen compared to your uh, like off sprays and things like that but what an amazing bit of kit. Um, the price price for this is just under two hundred pounds, and I tell you what, it's worth every penny so far. Uh, we'll go and have a quick look at the Bergen in greater detail, and uh, talk through a little bit of the specs on it as well. But obviously, I can't remember it all, so I'll be looking at a phone and telling you what it says on there. Okay, also all the information that's on the, uh, the, the website page where you can purchase these from. Um, I'll put all that into the description and a link to it as well. Obviously, I'm not affiliated in any way whatsoever. I bought this Bergen with my own money and I don't get any kickbacks off the company whatsoever. But if you are watching and you like this video and you want to send us some kit out, feel free. My email's in the description. Okay, right, and anyway, let's get a better look at this. Okay then, so here we have it then, the Warrior X300 backpack, okay. It's molly, molly webbing all the way around it, okay, but what we're going to concentrate on first is the actual, the back part of it, the frame, okay, the carrying system itself. So as you can see, I've added some extra pouches to the the belt part okay and it'll be self-explanatory in a minute when i talk about it yeah it's this is what it's designed for as an any weight okay but first thing i liked about this when i seen the video uh on it and with seeing me mate rooney um we're seeing that what happens is the actual belt system itself can actually detach from the Bergen, okay, and all it is is underneath here we've got a bit of Velcro, okay. Let's try and tip it over a bit so you can see. We're just resting it up against the log. As you can see on here, we have a bit of Velcro. This comes off, okay. Then the actual belt itself is attached by very strong Velcro underneath. Yeah, and then this got another velcro underneath the back of here as well, so the whole thing comes off. And then all you've got is two straps on here, keeping the whole lot of it together. So if you're out and about and you need to dump your bergen, but you want to go out and do a recce somewhere, okay, you can take all your survival gear. Or if something's happened and you cannot, you physically can't carry your bergen, you can dump your bergen and still keep your belt kit with you with all your necessary food, water and survival stuff. Okay, obviously, I'll put it up on the screen now, showing you what it's like when it's off and around the um, around my waist. Okay, so anyway, so to put it back on, dead easy again. Okay, without it falling, it's leaning up against that branch. This is the only problem when you're on a tree stump. Okay, all you do is marry it up on the bottom, push it over. Yeah, fold that over. Obviously, it's not on properly. Push that on, push that on, push that back on. There you go. That's it, nice and easily secure. So it's easy to come off, easy to put back on. So that's one of the high points about this Bergen I just absolutely love. Because um, I've been thinking about doing a belt kit in any weight. And this is just 
a Bergen with two things in one. Okay, as you can see, it's a nice, big, fat, thick, comfy padding. Yeah. Um, heavy duty plastic straps. Okay, with the, the tie offs for the, the, the loose bits to go to one side. As you can see, nice click one. Press the two buttons to undo it. And as you can see, it holds two pouches on the other side. Perfect. And what I forgot to show you uh, when I had it dis disconnected, on the back part as well, there's some more molly webbing. So then what you can do is you can take your other little pouch that I've put on the front, which I'll show you in a minute. I can take that off, attach that to the belt kit as well, which only takes a, a minute to do. And then I've got a full set of webbing to walk around with, with all my kit on. Okay, moving up on here as well, on the lower part of the back, it has a nice, nice big cushion. This felt absolutely comfy as anything on the walk-in and what this does as well because it's it raised off from the back it actually pushes the back of the pack away from your back allowing air circulation to get through I never felt one bit of sweat at all and it's quite a mild day the day as well moving up on the back of the pack as well you can see we've got these heavy molly straps and what happens is you can actually adjust the shoulders as well by just undoing velcro yet again okay and then all you do is pull that off there yeah it's got the slip goes underneath i'm going to pull it out there uh, okay because it's fit to mine but you just pull that out of there and then slide it back underneath these and then fasten it back up okay and that's that's your uh the back system as you can see the straps as well okay um They've got the, the chest strap on it. It's a nice, comfortable, really, really comfortable strap. Plenty of padding on it. It felt dead comfortable on my shoulders. The weight was taken away from my shoulders by the belt system as well, which is absolutely fantastic. Also on the top here, you've got a grab handle. There's a couple of grab handles, few grab handles on here, which is absolutely brilliant as well. Okay, and as you can see, there's padding all the way up the sides here as well and a nice bit of padding on the top which allows this bit to stay away from your back okay with that the, the bottom part and the top part for your shoulders okay so that's the actual the back air part of the bergen itself absolutely fantastic design really really impressed with it i'm looking forward to getting out and doing more tests with it though doing longer walks um this Bergen has just got absolutely tons of stuff in, which what I'll do is I'll uh, lay it all out and show you what I've got inside as well. Okay, to show you what kind of stuff this can carry for a 60 litre Bergen. It's unbelievable. And as you can see on here as well, it's got some little day shuttles, day shuttles on the top here, little day rings, sorry, just for to uh, attach stuff onto. And I've just put my clips around the back here. Okay absolutely brilliant lovely lovely bit of kit but anyway let's change um positions and we'll have a look at the actual package of the bergen itself okay then so now we're looking at the side profile of the bergen itself okay and as you can see it's got molly webbing all the way down this side pouch and this side pouch is quite deceiving as well uh, the amount of stuff you can get in also what it's got is it's got two straps on the sides here as well so you can strap items on and they fit perfectly in there like a tent could fit in there or whatever you want to put there yourself okay and once again nice heavy duty heavy heavy duty plastic is that the correct phrase for it in any way nice nice strong clips press release and they've got the roll ties as well so you haven't got loads of loose bits of um straps flapping around which is also a good bonus as well on the actual pocket itself as you can see it's got a, a zip protector so none of the rain's going to get on um the zips are double zipped as well okay you can come all the way around and then when you open up the bergen itself as you can see yeah it's got straps inside on this side it's got straps on obviously i've just put my knives in there for now and a spare torch just in case I need it and that's actually strapped onto one of the little 
strapped on the top there. Okay, so on the other side, we we'll have another pouch as well. Same again, molly, molly webbing all the way down it. Double zipped. But this pack, this one, is slightly different. Okay, on the inside. Obviously, just excuse me, me two cans of lager there. And me, and me jack, and uh, me trousers. But inside of here, as you can see, okay, it has a, a velcroed pocket on there, a mesh pocket on the top, and then it has another velcro pocket here, and then a slidey pocket on the bottom, okay. Obviously, if you want to partition things off, and you haven't got as much bulk sticking out at the sides there okay so that's that side pocket okay then so we've spun the bergen round now so you're looking at the the main part of the bergen obviously this this pouch here is um something i've attached myself okay but underneath there this is where you would if the army are using it i think these two straps here and the one on the bottom is for to keep your helmet under okay and it's all obviously got a tie up system on the back there as well which i've just kept nice and slack so i can put it around the size of the uh me the pouch here and all i've got in there is my first aid kit and my fire kit okay things i want to get a hold of in a hurry also this pouch here will be detached and added to the belt kit itself so that's the pouch which i was telling you about as you can see at the front rear here we've got another grab handle okay and then down on the sides i forgot to mention when i went on the side you've got a grab handle here as well okay and then another one on the other side also moving on from the front part okay on the bottom side here as well as you can see there's another small pouch at the bottom here and at the minute all i've got in there is a litre and a half of water in a plastic bottle but you could put anything that you wanted in it also underneath in this zip here you have a rain cover as well okay which is a nice a nice dark color not your bright orange green uh, bright greens bright oranges or blues or things okay because it's a tactical bag yeah so that's happy days and that fits perfectly around there as well also on the bottom it's got two retaining straps down the bottom these these only go loose so they're about down here they don't actually clip off and click on which is a, a little bit of a downside to it but there's enough room inside of there to get like a small tent or a roll mat or whatever you want to put in it okay i've actually has this all packed and then when it loosened off i was able to put me stove on the bottom but then i repacked my bergen and i've got it inside as well okay so that's a couple of other features as well obviously you can see where the the, the velcro part is for to detach the um the belt system so all as i've well. done now is i've just turned the uh the bergen onto its back so it's facing up over so we can have a look at the compartments it has so this part here okay it's got a double zip so you can just unzip all that all the way at the top then that folds up over now it's very deceiving this pack okay it's unbelievable it's like a little tortoise so in here i've got me my tp hot tent my little ground sheet pegs and cordage then I have a ground sheet itself, okay? And as you can see, inside of there, that's, it, it only looks a small space, but it's amazing what you can fit in it. And then in here, the only downside I found with, I had to attach these two bits of cord on myself just so I can grab a hold of the zips easier. Then inside here, it's got a wire mesh. Uh, sorry, not a wire mesh, like a, a mesh uh, covering on it. Okay, with a double zips that comes all the way around to the top. And you just fold that over and then obviously you can get into your pack that way as well as from the top side okay and as you can see i've got chairs i've got sleeping bags i've got all sorts of stuff in there okay and it goes right the way down to the bottom here about another foot okay so there's absolutely tons of storage space in this um in this burger i really said tent there didn't i but anyway i'll just fasten that one up
and that one. As you can see, it's got double zips. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll have a look at the top compartments as well. Right, so moving on to the top compartment, as you can see, there's loads of molly straps on here as well. So if you wanted, you could actually add another pouch on, make it quite high up, like, but you know, it's that's what it's there for if you need to. So top compartment straight away, it's got two zips on it. Okay. So sorry, two two zip fasteners on. So we'll just open that up. And then inside of here, all I've got is my jacket. As you can see, it's got like a, a waterproof material on there as well. Yeah, so that's that. What that's one compartment, and then all you do is you come round to the back here. There's a little rain flap on it. Lift that up, and you've got another double zip again, and this folds over. Yeah, and it has a pocket on the top here. I've just got a couple of bits and pieces in there, nothing spectacular, and then we've got the main body itself. And as you can see you can get lots of nice chunky bits in it's got a nice solid um frame like board in the back there as well keeps it all nice and tight yeah inside of here obviously when i unpack the bergen then i'll show you the inside but here i've got me saw and there's like a little sleeve i don't know if you can see it here but there's a sleeve there that keeps that fastened in there. Perfect. Okay. And that's being the, the main compartment. So this pouch here originally had that on the front because um, it holds a lot more stuff. But I've just took it off and used it as a little food bag for tonight. Okay. So as you can see, actually I'll just do that later. Okay then, so I've laid all my kit out because I've got my TP up. So I'm just going to show you the amount of equipment that can fit into that Bergen. And there was still a small bit of room at the top. Okay, so obviously starting from here, as you can see, we've got the actual Bergen emptied now and all the pouches. So in here we have spare set of clothing my fleecy top and my jacket for later on tonight waterproof bottoms just in case this bag here is my electrics bag with all my torches and power banks and extra camera I've got another GoPro Hero 4 in there with all its bits and pieces I've got the GoPro chest harness because I might be using that okay and then we've got a Back, um, a, a poncho, sorry, a Viper poncho, first aid kit, fire kit, wash kit, then my sleeping system. I've got obviously the ground mat that's on the floor, then I've got a lightweight bivy bag, a blow your pillar, my sleeping bag, and my firmer rest mat. Moving on, tools wise, I've got my back course uh, Laplander saw. My Boreal 21 saw, my neck knife, multi-tool, main knife, and a torch, which is just kept out to be used as and when. A lightweight fold-up table and chair. Then moving on to all my cooking equipment and food-wise. This is my food pack. Obviously, it's, it's not very much in it. It's just lightweight stuff. My drink for the night. Two hip flasks, can of Coke, and two cans of lager. A bowl to mix my food in and a towel to just wipe things down. My pee bottle. Then obviously I've got my pathfinder set with all its little bits and pieces. That's my brew kit, wash kit, like for dishes and that. Uh, water, obviously another litre of water there. A, a Primus stove, jet boil stove. And then obviously we've got the bag for the tent, for the TP, me bag of uh, little ground sheet and pegs and cordage and that and that's obviously the carrier case off me me camera stand and obviously then we've got the actual TP itself so as you can see the Warrior X300 can pack a canny bit of kit in it 
that's book the, here. a quick look at the, the Warrior X300 backpack. Okay, it's it's a fabulous bit of kit. I just love it, me. Like it's absolutely fantastic. And like I said on the walk in, it was dead dead comfortable. Okay, uh, no issues at all. 32 kilos of weight in the back of it as well. British Army Bergens, great bits of kit, but not very comfortable on the old shoulders. Okay, this the waist belt on here is just absolutely fantastic. It's a great bit of kit if you're interested. Links below. Just remember, I've got no affiliation whatsoever with the company. But if the company wants to get in contact with us and sort something out, then happy days. Okay, so anyway, once again, thanks a lot for watching everybody. Really appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to like, comment and share. Okay, if you're not subscribed to the channel and you're interested in what you've seen today, please hit that subscribe button. There's a little bell notification there as well. I've got loads of information about me, me channel and bits and pieces as well in the information. Just go and check it down. Okay, and uh, thanks a lot and I'll catch you on the next one.